see this is a in here they have very clearly given that you can approximate but whenever you are doing questions on approximate approximation one thing that you have to keep in mind is that how to what extent can you approximate see if you see options here are 429 412 actually these are very close values correct so um, so again 372 369 so the extent to which you approximate also you should be very careful like don't take this 54 percentage as 50 percentage and try to solve we might not get the correct answer okay so how do you solve this see this 54.204 let's try to omit all the decimals okay this i can take it as 54 percentage of this is 749.7 so i'm taking it as 750 plus again here 44.78 you can take it as 45 percentage 419.88 you can take it as 420 correct then you have this minus question mark that is equal to again 14.98 take it as 15 squared so that is the closest approximation that you should do to get an accurate answer otherwise if you take this as 50 and uh, take this as 50 and all and do sometimes you will not uh, arrive at the exact answer because here options are not so farly spaced right so then you might get confused Okay, now uh, if you have this, then uh, what do you do? So you have 54 percentage of 750. Now, one way to do it is like this, right? 54 by 100 into 750. Now, the other way to do is it instead of writing it like this, what you can do is, see, you know what is 50 percentage of 750? What is 50 percentage of 750? That is nothing but 50 percentage of 750 is half of 750. Correct? So you know this, what is half of 750? That is 375. So 54 percentage of 750 is nothing but 375 plus 4 percentage of 750. Correct? See what I am trying to do is here, here is I am splitting this percentage. Okay, this 54 percentage, I am taking it as 50 plus 4 percentage. So what is 50 percentage of 750? 50 percentage of 750 is nothing but 1 by 2 of 750 or that is equal to 375. Now what is 4 percentage of 750? See, what is 1 percentage of 750? It is nothing but 7.5. So, what is 4 percentage of 750? It is nothing but 7.5 into 4. Correct? See, you know what is 7 into 4? 28. 0.5 into 4 is 2. So, 28 plus 2, that is 30. Correct? So, this is going to be 54 percentage of 750. What I am saying is, try to split these percentages and then get the answer, arrive at the answer faster instead of doing multiplications and divisions. Okay, that will be easier. Now, next, what should you find? You have to find out what is um, 45 percentage of 420. Again, here, if you wish, you can split it like this. See, what is 40 percentage of 420? 40 percentage is what? 40 percentage. See, uh, remember, whenever you are solving such questions, you should know uh, how to represent percentages in terms of fractions, right? That is what I used uh, uh, on top also. See, what I did was, uh, this 50 percentage means I take it as 1 by 2. Similarly, what is 40 percentage? 40 by 100, correct? So, 40 and 100 in both, 20 will go, correct? That is 2 by 5. So, 40 percentage is represented by 2 by 5. So, what is 2 by 5 of 420? Find that out plus again do 5 percentage of 420 correct in that way you can split and do correct so 2 by 5 of 420 plus you have 5 percentage of 420 means what is 1 percentage of 420 1 percentage of 420 is 4.2 so 4.2 into 5 right uh, what is 4.2 into 5 that is nothing but 21 so here uh, 2 by 5 of 420 is this is 84 correct so you will have uh, 168 plus 21 take it this side minus 225 that is equal to the answer that you are looking at solve for this okay and you will get the answer what do you get you get the answer as 369 at this point you can either either try to uh, use the units digit method right like i mean digit sum method digit sum method in the sense 5 plus 0 plus 8 uh, plus 1 minus 5 like that you can do otherwise you can do 375 plus 30 is 405 so 405 plus 100 is 505 so 505 plus 68 uh, do it that way right any one method you can follow and uh, you will get the answer to be 369 in this case so that is also there in the option your answer is option d Yes, see this unit digit method, right, wherein we are looking at the units digit and checking what the answer will be, that will generally not work in approximation. Like somebody said very clearly, this roots digit met digital root method, units digit method and all, you cannot use in questions on approximations. Because anyway, we are taking the approximate answers, right? So let's look at the next question. I hope it is clear.
So the next one is on approximations root of 5390 into cube root of 43 is equal to dash. See here a fairly easy question only thing you will have to anyway they are asking you for the approximate value. So if you uh, look at this root of 5930 see where this root 5930 will come. See which are the closest roots here that we know. See you know 80 squared correct is equal to 6400. Then you have 75 squared. Okay, 70 squared you know is 4900, but we also know what is 75 squared. Correct, what is 75 squared? 75 squared is nothing but 5625. Correct, 5 5s are 25, uh, 7 into 8 is 56. Okay, I hope uh, all of you know it. So, those of you who are new, see to find out squares of such numbers, right, which end with 5, there is a very easy method. Please refer the Speedmax videos to understand that. So, now I know that this root of 5930 is going to lie between these two okay now if you actually see 77 squared right 77 squared is going to be 5929 here you have 5930 so you can approximate it and take it as 77 correct so root of 5930 you can approximate it as 77 similarly when you look at cube root of 43 correct see you have what is uh, 3 cube 3 cube is 27 4 cube is 64 so this 43 is coming in between these two so you can approximate it and take it as 3.5 because it is almost in between 27 and 64 approximate value okay so uh, 77 into 3.5 so when you solve it you will get it as close to 270 it's so option b so this question is on approximation again this question is a very easy question uh, see just by looking at the options you should be able to say the answer for this one uh, this question was again part of the daily test that was conducted on uh, 2nd april see the correct answer for this question is option 210 without doing anything at all you should be able to say the answer see why is that see some big number divided by 4 when i am doing that i am getting the answer as 44 plus uh, root of 46 again uh, root of 46 uh, we do not know so we can it is actually between uh, root of 7 and root of 6 so take it as 6.5 whatever right but when i divide some number by 4 i am getting an answer which is almost equal to 50 so what should this be number be it has to be definitely a very big number close to 200 you look at the options all these options are very small correct 13 by 4 22 by 4 43 by 4 35 by 4 none of these options using none of these options i will get an answer close to this value the only feasible option here is option a okay